January 18th, the memory of our Holy Father Athanasius the Great, Archbishop of Alexandria. Born in Alexandria in 296, he had from childhood an inclination to the spiritual life. He was a deacon with Archbishop Alexander and accompanied him to Nicaea to the First Ecumenical Council in 325. At this council, St. Athanasius became famed for his learning, his devotion, and his zeal for orthodoxy, and contributed very greatly to the containing of the Arian heresy and the strengthening of orthodoxy. After the death of Alexander, Athanasius was chosen as Archbishop of Alexandria. He remained in his archiepiscopal calling for more than 40 years, although he was not on the archiepiscopal throne the whole time. He was persecuted by heretics through almost the whole of his life, particularly by the emperors Constantius, Julian, and Valens, by Bishop Eusebius of Nicomedia and many others, and by the heretic Arius and his followers. He was forced to hide from his persecutors in a well, a grave, private houses, and the deserts. Twice he was forced to flee to Rome. Only just before his death did he have a peaceful period as a good shepherd with his flock, which truly loved him. There are few saints who have been so callously slandered and so criminally persecuted as St. Athanasius. But his great soul endured all with patience for the love of Christ and at last emerged victorious from all these terrible and lengthy struggles. He often went to St. Anthony for advice and moral support, revering him as his spiritual father. He suffered greatly for the truth until the Lord gave him rest in his kingdom as his faithful servant in the year 373. To thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, the ages of Amen. Shining forth with works of orthodoxy, ye quenched every false belief and teaching, and became trophy bearers and conquerors. And since ye made all things rich with true piety, greatly adorning the church with magnificence, Athanasius and why Cyril ye justly found Christ God, who through your prayers doth grant great mercy unto all. The charioteer of Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross his form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led unto safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. O Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. In offering laudations to Athanasius, I extol virtue and rather send up the praise to God, by whom he has been given to mortals as a praiseworthy treasure of virtue, 
whereof he became the living seal and image. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Filled with divine wisdom and flashing brighter than the sun in thy manner of life, thou wentst far beyond the reach of any praise thou mightst receive from us, but endure, O righteous Father, to be praised beneath thy word. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for As us. As is right, we weave an ode on thy glorious memory, but being at a great loss to him, the worthily, O Athanasius, we ask pardon of thee, and that through thee there be given unto us abundant grace of the Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With youthful vigor thou didst over Power the uprisings of the passions in thy youth, possessing the steadfast mind of an elder, O blessed Athanasius, for thou brought all thy senses into order with the love of wisdom. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From generation to generation glorious things are spoken of thee, O virgin Theotokos, for thou hast contained God the word in thy womb and hast remained pure. Wherefore we all honour thee after God as our protection. O Christ, who in the beginning established the heavens in wisdom and it found the earth upon the waters. Make me steadfast upon the rock of thy commandments, for none is holy as thee, O thou that lovest mankind. O holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. When thou hadst purged thy soul and body of every defilement, O blessed Athanasius, thou wast shown to be a temple worthy of God, therefore the fullness of the Trinity took up its rest in thee, O initiate of sacred mysteries. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. The grace of the comfort of finding thy soul cleansed of the passions as it desired showed its evident energies therein, and made thee a far shining luminary for the world, O Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a hierarch thou wast manifestly revealed, as a rule for the hierarchy, thy life was an example of diligence, thy teaching as a pattern of divine vision, and thy doctrine was true theology. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou wast shown to be higher than the cherubim and seraphim, O Pure Theotokos, for thou alone didst receive the uncontainable God in thy womb, O virgin undefiled, all we the faithful call thee blessed in hymns. Supremely bright luminaries of the Church of Christ God, ye both have enlightened all the world with teachings and words, O fathers divinely wise burning up the heresies of every false teacher, ye completely quench blasphemers' flagrant confusions. And since ye are the hierarchs of Christ, pray that we all be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, all hymned, O Mother of Christ Jesus our God, O Virgin, O Bride of God, O all pure Mary, thou help and succor of faithful men. Rescue from necessities and dangers of all kinds them that flee with faith and longing unto thy shelter. O Lady Theotokos, we pray, thou only Bride of God. Thou art my strength, thou art my power and might, O Lord. Thou art my God, thou who wast not absent from thy Father's arms. Thou, Lord, art my joy. Thou hast deigned to visit our lowliness and our poverty. To thee, therefore, I cry out with Habakkuk the prophet. Glory be to thy power, O thou friend of man. O Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. The life-giving breath of the Spirit of Christ, which once divinely came down in the upper room and filled the disciples, breathed in thee in its entirety and made thee a 
thirteenth apostle preaching the Orthodox faith, O Father. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Vehemently kindled with divine zeal while contending for the council in Nicaea, thou proclaims the consubstantiality even before being made prelate. Therefore Christ appoints thee as a chief shepherd and teacher of the church. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Taking in hand the rudder of the church by divine providence, O Athanasius, thou didst cut out by the roots all the soul-harming babblings of the heretics, like an axe cutting out thorns and watering the seed of the word, thou didst cultivate it wisely. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Arius is an unnatural division, and Sabellius is confusion, those two evils which are diametrically opposed, and yet equal in ungodliness, and every heretical blasphemy with them has been burned up by thy fiery tongue, O Saint Athanasius. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art the boast of the faithful, O unwedded maiden, thou art the protection, thou art the rest refuge and rampart and haven of Christians, for thou best supplications unto thy Son, O all blameless Lady, and thou saves from perils those who with faith and longing acknowledge thee to be the pure Theotokos. Wherefore hast thou deprived me and cast me the hapless one far from thy countenance, and the outer darkness is enshrouded and cast its gloom over me? But therefore I entreat thee, do thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. O Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Having Christ speaking by thy tongue as with a sweet-sounding instrument, O Father, thou didst convict in writing the sect of the idols, guiding the steps of the erring and turning them to the true God, O blessed Athanasius. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Thou didst triumph over the pernicious heresies with thy discourses and epistles, O blessed Father, banishing manifold error from the inhabited world by thy wise demonstrations, and making the orthodox faith incontestably clear. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O wise Athanasius, the Church of Christ is blessed to have thee after the apostles as a truly great teacher of teachers, who with unadorned speech makes clear the unspotted doctrine of the faith. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou hast motherly boldness with thy Son, O all pure virgin, disregard not thy care for us, thy kinsmen. We pray for thee alone, do we Christians bring forth as gracious conciliation with the Master. Cleanse me, O Saviour, for many are my transgressions, and lead me up from the abyss of evils, I pray. For to thee have I cried, and thou hast hearkened unto me, O God of my salvation. O Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. When Apollinarius appeared as a sword of a strange seed, as touching the human reason and understanding of Christ's humanity, he was mightily reproved by thee as a madman, void of understanding, O most wise Athanasius. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. As from a fountain head we the faithful draw forth streams sweeter than honey from an ever flowing source of grace, even the rational streams that poured out through thy lips, O righteous Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Any man must reasonably marvel at thy writings, O Father, when he wisely considers them, and sees how thou prophetically didst refute beforehand heresies that would appear in time to come. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May we be delivered from our grievous transgressions by thine entreaties, O pure birth-giver of God, and may we find the divine illumination of the Son of God, who was ineffably incarnate of thee, O all-pure one. Planting orthodox doctrine, thou didst mow down the tares of heresy, causing the seed of faith to increase through the reign of the Spirit, O Venerable One. 
Wherefore we hymn thee, O Athanasius. O ye faithful, with hymns let us praise today the most festive memory of Athanasius and Cyril. For they cast into the abyss of perdition Arius the deceiver, Eunomius and Sibelius, committing them to immolation and everlasting fire, for they unjustly blasphemed the incarnation of the Saviour. Wherefore we hymn thee, O Athanasius. Wherefore we hymn thee, O Athanasius. Once in Babylon the fire stood in awe of the condescension of God, Wherefore the youths dancing with joyous step in the furnace as in a meadow chanted, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. O holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. O Father, thou namesake of immortality, preaching in orthodox manner that the only begotten Word and Son is one in honour and throne with the Father. Thou teach, moreover, that the Spirit is of one nature and consubstantial with the begetter and the Son. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. When the Father of impiety beheld thee, the teacher, preacher, and revealer of the sacred mysteries of the three sunlight, declaring orthodoxy to all men unto the ends of the earth, he spread out temptations against thee. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Endless were the perils which thou underwent, struggling for piety's sake, but endless likewise are the crowns, for thou wast an adamant to them that struck thee, but like a magnet thou drewest all unto thyself. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Banishing strange and alien doctrines from the Church of Christ, thou didst proclaim that God is a trinity of hypostases, but a unity of divinity, unto whom thou didst chant, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us extol Mary, the Immaculate and All-Holy, for through her the grace of gifts and past understanding issues forth to us as from the torrent of divine goodness. With a pious mind, let us now call her blessed. Madly did the Chaldean tyrant heat the furnace sevenfold for the pious ones, but beholding them saved by a higher power, he cried out to the Creator and Deliverer, Ye children, bless ye priests, him ye people, exalt him supremely for all ages. O Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. O fair famed adornment of hierarchs, Athanasius, thou pillar of light, foundation of the Church, champion of the Trinity, golden trumpet of theology, and exact legislator of the solitary life, do thou celebrate with us perfecting priests and leading the faithful people to Christ unto the ages. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Thou wast truly worthy to be named for immortality, for in thy discourse thou didst exceed them that were practised in labours, and by the diligence of thy way of life, thou overcamest those who are approved in discourse, outstripping the highest summits in both. Therefore, having shone forth in unsurpassable virtue, thou hast obtained an immortal memorial unto the ages. We bless, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou madest the hierarchy more radiant with thy noble contest, so divinely inspired initiate. Thou didst mightily banish error by thine own exiles in behalf of the Trinity, whom thou didst proclaim, crying out, Worship ye the Father, declare the Godhead of the Son, and praise the Spirit with hymns unto all the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou became the habitation of the unwaning light of all pure virgin, for for them that were in darkness and shadow, thou gavest birth to the light that enlightens the whole world with the grace of divine knowledge. And on to him with a faithful, unceasingly sing, Bless him, you children, praise him, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, on to all the ages. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed, for God appeared bodily to mankind as very man. 
And lo, thy womb has proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For this, O Theotokos, the choirs of ass- and assemblies of men and angels magnify thy name. O Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Thy life shone out like lightning, thy sound, O Father, poured out like thunder unto all whom the Son looks upon. For thou didst truly receive inspiration from heaven above, therefore the tomb, the cause of forgetfulness, has not quenched thy memory, O Athanasius. Holy Father Athanasius, pray to God for us. Since thou art illumined more resplendently now by the triply shining light of three suns, do thou, like a translucent looking glass, send forth in return the shining sun-like reflections from on high on to us who praise thee, and gather us together with thee, O blessed Athanasius, though our request be very great and beyond our words. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. While praising thee, we beseech thee earnestly, make entreaty for the Church's sake, that on thy memorial, O Athanasius, victories be granted to our higher arts through the cross, might unto the orthodox faith against inimical heresies, and salvation unto us, and peace unto the world. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou gavest birth to the Saviour and Redeemer, vouchsafe that I attain to salvation of all pure maiden, and by thine intercessions loose the bands of mine offences, for thou dost accomplish now all things that thou wilt, since thou held in thy bosom the King of all, who is incomparable in goodness. Ye prove to be initiates and truly wise defenders, of the transcendent trinity, O blessed Athanasius, and seer, O thou God revealer, for ye destroyed completely Arius and Sabellius, and Nestorius also the most profane. Yea, and every other deceit and error of all ungodly heresies, O hierarchs of the Lord God. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisois the great, Brandon the navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of our holy fathers Athanasius and Cyril, patriarchs of Alexandria, with the prayers of Saint Day and Saint Dermond, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. At the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good. And he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.